There's a new exhibit opening at the Belmont Art Gallery in the Homer Building in Belmont Center. Called A Woman's Place, the exhibit offers art from 14 Massachusetts women's artists. The message of the art speaks to what it means to be a woman. Let's listen in to the art gallery director, Rebecca Richards, and its guest curator, Kimberly Becker, to talk about the exhibits and what those, the messages of those exhibits are about feminism. And also put some of the denim pieces yeah. with and the words sewn on them. Yeah, interspersed. Um, the well, shells, I mean, in the, in the box. Oh, in yeah, the okay. Display case. Okay. I'm Rebecca Richards. I'm director of the Belmont Gallery of Art. And um, I'm with Kimberly Becker, the guest curator and artist um, for A Woman's Place and the House Dress Project. And this exhibit came about, um, actually, I think towards the end of the summer. Kimberly um, and I had a meeting, and she approached me with the idea of doing an exhibit um, to um, display some of her house dresses. Uh, so I am uh, finishing my master's degree right now, so I'm getting my MFA at Hartwood College of Art up in Maine, and uh, for my final work I'm doing, uh, I call it the house dress project. So I am sewing dresses, and I paint a house on the front of the dress, and then I embroider the story on the back. Each dress is about one woman's story. So women have been telling me their stories, and I find out their address and get a picture of the house and paint the house on the front that they were living in when the story happened. And then I put their story on the back of the dress. The, the stories range widely, but there's this, this like, it, it, they come together as a unit and it feels like you're giving these women a voice yes. for once. Uh, so the artists that we invited to be part of the show, there are 15 of us in total, 15 artists, uh, all from Massachusetts, and like Rebecca said, age ranges, you know, from young 20s up into the late 70s. Uh, yeah. You know, it's interesting because the show, a number of the pieces still have a really interesting sense of femininity. Yeah. And so I think that, you know, um, as a feminist myself, and I, I probably speak for Kimberly too, that um, I, I like the idea that you can be um, a strong feminist and still embrace the feminine as well. And so I, I really like the fact that this show does have a number of fiber related pieces because I, again, I think that speaks to women's history. And it's also, I mean, being feminist doesn't mean, it's not a harsh thing, it doesn't have to be aggressive, it doesn't have to be in your face, it's just being who you are and feeling comfortable being that person. So that's, that was what we were trying to do in this show. We were trying to not, not be too um, over the top with it because that just it alienates people. We're really trying to discuss letting women speak for themselves and be women. And, um, and I think it's very emotional too, and I think that women, I'm hoping in a number of ways that women coming through the show, and men, because I've had men already ask me, am I welcome to come to the show? <laughs> of course. Yes, of course you are. <laughs> but I think that it will also be um, emotional for a number of women coming through the show, and I think they'll see their own stories reflected in some of the work that's on display.